Hello friends, how are you? In my last video regarding uh, CFAT, Canadian Forces Aptitude Test Practice Questions, in this video here that's shown uh, 10 days ago, I discussed uh, how to prepare the CFAT and how to go to a website that has practice questions. And it also showed you uh, at the end of the video, the answers to the questions. So in this video today, I'm gonna um, discuss how the answers were, uh, how the answers were, what's the explanation to those answers uh, regarding the verbal ability. Okay, so I'm gonna move my screen. Okay, so this is the answer sheet. Then I'm just going through the verbal skills part. I, I will do uh, other videos for the spatial ability and the problem solving, I'll do a separate video on those uh, section of the CFAT. So for now, I'm just focusing on the verbal skills. So question number one is, is synonyms or the word meaning. So discrete means cautious. So if you go to Google and find the meaning or find a dictionary and look for the synonym or the meaning of discrete, it's cautious. So letter B. Number two, again, this is a question on, um, on synonyms. So methodology, if you find the meaning of the methodology, it is a legends, letter C. Number three. Question is, let me get you the full question here. Letter is to word, a sentence is to. Answer is D, paragraph. So in this question, a letter is part of a word. So therefore, the uh, answer is paragraph because sentence is a part of a paragraph. Okay. Or another way you can, uh, you can analyze it is that let letter makes up word. The same as sentence sentences makes up paragraph okay so question number four question number four is synonyms industrious if you look for the meaning of industrious it's uh, busy so this is synonym Number five, a latent talent is be undeveloped. So this is again synonym. So go to a dictionary or Google, find the meaning of latent, it's undeveloped. Pretty straightforward. Now, this is question number six. Salmon is to fish as B. Beaver is to animal. So this question is a type of, a kind of. So a salmon is a type of or a kind of a fish. So same thing here that the answer is a beaver is a type of is a kind of mammal so this is that so therefore the answer is question b number seven 
sandal is to shoe as a salmon is to fish. So this is exactly similar uh, to question number six. A sandal is a type of, sandal is a kind of a shoe. The same as salmon is a type of, salmon is a kind of fish. Okay, so question number eight. Uh, ample means the same as a enough. Ample again, so this is a synonym. Going through a dictionary or in Google, the meaning of ample is enough. Number nine. Zoologist is to animals as, <coughs> excuse me, as the botanist is to plants. So this question is a the the worker and working on. So it's so the zoologist works with animals, works on animals. Zoologist deals with animals. Zoologist studies animals. So that's why the answer is botanist is because botanist studies plants. Botanist works on plants. Botanist works with plants. So it's the, the work and what's being worked on that kind of relationship number 10 is symbiotic refers to a relationship so this is again synonym uh, using google or dictionary will get you the word meaning for symbiotic Number 11, the same thing, it's synonym using dictionary or Google search. We find the meaning of ominous as the threatening. Okay, now to get better on uh, ominous, it's just practice, keep practicing. Uh, on exams that has synonym, antonym, word meaning, and you'll get better and better with these uh, uh, word definitions, word meanings. Number 12, we're almost done. It's only 15 questions for the verbal skills. So, show you the full question here number 12 gaggle is to geese as herd is to a cattle so this type of question is a group the name of the group so a gaggle is a group of geese group of goose together and a group of cattle is called a herd okay so it's uh, the, the the name of the group this is the uh, explanation of question number 12 gaggle is a group of geese and Third is a group of cattle. Number 13. Frame is to support as a scaffold is to bear. So in here, the, uh, the, it's the purpose, the use. So a frame is 
used to support. The purpose of a frame is to support. So the same as a scaffold, the purpose of a scaffold is to bear, to bear the weight, to bear the load. Scaffold is used to bear, to support the load of a person or a, a weight. So this question number 13 is the purpose or the use. Okay, number 14. Florid means the same as C. Ruddy. So this is again word definition, word meaning, synonyms using dictionary and or Google search. Oh, by the way, you can't Google search on the real exam. I keep saying Google. But uh, anyway, when you're practicing, you can use Google or the dictionary. But in the real exam, you are not allowed uh, to search. You're not allowed to have your phone or to bring a dictionary with you. So the only way to get better uh, when it comes to word meanings is to practice. Okay, number 15, last question. It's synonym again here. Torpid synonym is lazy. Meaning of torpid is lazy. Definition. Okay. So you can see here section two, spatial ability. Uh, I will do a separate video on uh, spatial ability. Okay, for now, that's it for the verbal ability, practice questions, and answers uh, on the CFAT, the Young Forces Aptitude Test. So, cheers, and have a good one, and I'll uh, take care.